gorgeous hunk of woman here. I don't know about the gorgeous, but I'm sure a lot of hunk. You know, one thing I never worry about, baby, is that energy crisis. Because I got my own personal heating system. <laughs> Not so bad yourself. Good-looking man like you could have had any woman in Chicago. True, but I married you. Well, if that's a compliment, I'm Will Chamberlain. Uh, you know I didn't mean it that way. Give me one good reason why you married me. You was pregnant. <laughs> James, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. Baby, you know I'm just joking. That ain't nothing to joke about. Suppose one of the kids had heard you said they was born out of wedlock. It wouldn't bother me none. <laughs> Judging <laughs> <laughs> from your high mechanical aptitude test scores, Mr. Evans. 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 Mm -hmm. You look like a man we can really use. Well, that's good. That's good. Now, when do I start? <laughs> oh, it says here you were in the army. 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 You served in... Korea. Did my full tour of duty over there. Yeah, my full tour of duty. You are the father of three... three children, aged 17, 16, 11. Did my full tour of duty over here, too. <laughs> <laughs> now, what day do I report? <laughs> you were born in... Uh, born in 1942, which means you served in Korea when you were... Uh, Ten? Oh, no, no, no. I'm, I was born in 1932. 32. 32. Mm -hmm. It says right here, 1942. Well, that's a computer error, I guess. <clears throat> we are suddenly confronted with a big problem. Yeah, I guess you better get that computer fixed, huh? James, I wouldn't have their guilty consciences, not for all their money. Yeah, and they wouldn't take our income for your good conscience. Well, honey, we get by. Yeah, well, I'm tired of getting by. I want to get over for a change. James, what you doing? I'm gonna show James. you how we're getting by, baby. James, what are you no, doing? No, I'm gonna show you how we're getting by. James! I'm not gonna have enough James, I tell you to listen to me now. Come on, James, where are you going? No, I'm gonna show you where I'm going. You wanna know how we're getting by? That's how we're getting by, baby. Me working two jobs, you working now and again. And what we got? Look at this money over here. You know what this means to bargains? About as much as 10 cents does to me. I mean, hell, even less. Oh, James, please. Now, come on, Florida, no more, please. I want you to see how we're getting by. Mmm, Dad's doing a spring cleaning a little early this year. <laughs> you better be quiet or he'll clean up on you, too. Now, this is it, baby. Throw in whatever else the kids got, and that's all we own. Junior, thought I asked you to take the garbage out. Oh, uh, I will, Dad. That's what you said a half hour ago, Junior. Oh, don't worry, Dad, I got it covered. Now, Junior! <laughs> James, you don't have to yell at the boy. You know, in that child psychology course I'm taking, they say that most parents either reason with their children or yell at them. You are a yeller. Florida, I don't need none of them fancy school books to tell me how to raise these kids. We've been doing it this way for a long time now. Yeah, but if you reason with them, it makes them feel more responsible. All right, baby. All right. Junior. <laughs> yes, Senator. Step here a minute, please, sir. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Junior, do you know why old dad asked you to take the garbage out right now? Why, Dad? Because if you didn't, I was going to yell my head off! <laughs> You're right, baby. It does work. <laughs> Nothing. Go on back in the room and study. Go on. Come on, Michael. You know, it wouldn't hurt you to try a little patience. Well, ain't you become the expert on child raising after just two weeks of school? Oh, no, nah, I never said that. Good, because I ain't about to let no textbook run my life. Ain't no way. That sounds terrible. I don't care, Florida. That's the way I feel. No, no, no. I'm talking about the way you're talking. Do you realize you just used three eights in a row? So what? Well, I do it all the time, too, but it's wrong. We're setting a bad example for the children. 
There is no such word as ain't. No, it's in the dictionary. No, ain't ain't. But isn't is. You wrong, Florida. Look it up. Can't. Why not? Ain't got no dictionary. <laughs> I thought we were gonna have a nice, quiet weekend with J.J. Gar. Hi, y'all. Wait till you're here. There goes a nice, quiet weekend. Oh, James. That's right, James. Pick on somebody who just was involved in a holdup. A uh, holdup? Hold what? Hold on, you what? You in a holdup? Hold hold up. Let me tell you what happened. I was working late at the boutique tonight because of our mm -hmm. dollar annual sale. Mm -hmm. You know, it used to be a penny sale, but with the inflation, everything's oh, gone. Come on, what about the holdup? Well, anyway, I was selling the last of those jumpsuits. No, you should have came in there and got one of those ones that would look bad on you. You mean the ones with the matching sweaters and the four pockets That's on the front? Uh -huh. Oh, no. Well, on, I told you to put one away for me. It would have gone perfect with that new purse I got from, you know... Oh, the... she's talking about a hold-up, not, not handbags. I'm sorry, what happened, Malone? Yeah, what about anyway, I was just getting ready to close out, yeah. and this dude walks in and pulls out a gun. It says, give me all the cash you got. Mm. Well, on, he did what he said, right? You driving? When a dude points a gun at me, honey, I'll gift wrap the cash register. Girl, you must be shaking I'm scared all to death. Now, no, no, sit down. I'm going to make you a cup of tea. Hey, well, what you want to tell me what the dude look like? This tall white dude with an afro. <laughs> hey, aren't you proud of it? Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, I just wonder where he got that voice from. But you mean you ready to get that voice? <laughs> Come by a natural. You heard me singing in the shower. When you young. <laughs> That's why I wondered where he got the voice from. Okay, Eddie, you clear off that desk All already. Right. Oh, hi, folks. We thought you might have been gone already. Gone? What the hell you think you're doing here? And take your hats off in my house. We're here to remove the contents of this apartment. Due to non-payment of rent and pursuant to Article 5 of the lease agreement between the family name Evans and their projects. Yeah, well, unless both of y'all out of here in six seconds, the only thing you're gonna be removing is some knuckles from your face, which is pursuant to the end of my fist. <laughs> the Lord don't want you hustling no pool. Yeah, well, I'm gonna have to work out understanding with the Lord some other time, Florida. Now move. <laughs> That man always could move me. <laughs> I'm asking for my children. Dad, I knew you'd do it. You got the money. You better believe I got the money. That's so much money that we don't need to shoot on. How'd you do it, Daddy? How did I do it? Son, I just made the greatest three cushion shot in the history of Elmo's Pool Emporium. <laughs> but Mama ain't gonna like the rent money coming from the Maybe pool. Yeah, and I got that all figured out. Now, what your mama don't know won't hurt her, huh? Well, go on back over there. Money, you ready? All right, here you go. Well, kids, uh, I'm home. Hey, I'm home. I'm home. Yeah, I'm safe. Hello, James. How did it go? Oh, uh, not so good, baby. I, I guess the Lord didn't intend for me to come by the money that way. Well, I guess we better get on with what we're here for. Uh, uh, wait a minute, man. Do I hear a knock at the door? <laughs> I said, do I hear a knock at the door? <laughs> yeah, I thought so. Hey, Money, come on in, man. What you doing here? I failed you once, James, when I told you I could stop the eviction. But couldn't fail you twice, so I come with the full amount of your rent money. All right. One hundred, four dollars and fifty cents. Well, money, that's oh, wonderful. Say. Did you hear that, Florida? My friend Monty has saved the day. Well, look, now you can go down to the department store and get a job with me. James, honey, you haven't been hired yet. Are oh, you kidding, baby? I got it made in the shade. Do you know how many cats applied for that job? Over 50. Over 50. And I came away leading the pack. You know why? Why? <laughs> because, Junior, when it comes to doing the do, your father can do it to death. <laughs> I just real cool, like, laid a little bit of the James Evans charm on and proceeded to charm the pants off that woman. <laughs> Figuratively speaking, baby, what I mean is, uh, uh, I just turned on what they call a male charisma. You know, before I left that office, I knew I could get anything out of that woman I wanted. You what? Cake winner, bread winner, baby, you just a plain winner. Oh. Thanks, honey. But I gotta tell you, I'm worried. 
About what? Well, with you just having a part-time job, uh, I wonder how we gonna make it. Oh, relax, baby. We make it the same way we always have. Somehow. 